morning students good morning everybody namaskar to everybody and let us discuss today chapter number 12 that is electricity and topic number 1 that is electric current and circuit of standard 10th subject science rutva always wonders who invented the electricity do you know this was uh, benjamin franklin the person who is credited for the invention or say discovery of electrical power electricity right actually he conducted an experiment with his kite and key and he found it that there is an electricity but the practical form of electricity which may be in use was invented by michael faraday remember he wandered 17 years with magnets in his pocket 17 years tak wo banda apni jeb mein magnets leke ghuma and then thereafter he came to a conclusion that electricity can be generated from the magnetism means he was the first prince person to establish the relationship between magnetism and electricity repeat he was the first person to establish the relationship between magnetism and electricity matlab usne kaha ki magnetism aur electricity dono behne hain judwa behne hain ek mein se dusri aur dusre mein se pehli aise ghum sakti hai badal sakti hai convert ho sakti hai means magnetic energy can be converted to electrical energy and electrical energy can be converted into magnetic energy this was established with the help of michael faraday with his very hard efforts of 17 years and so he is known as the father of electricity so you will have to remember the credit for invention of electricity primarily goes to michael faraday for giving it a practical form right next we are very much familiar with this type of various uh, invention for example incandescent and lamp and you will have to remember one more thing actually in an invention of incandescent and lamp or bulb usko hindi mein bolte hain lattu so this bulb was invented by thomas alva edison he was a gem of engineering he has invented many many things so then there after tubes then cfl then led and then flood lights etc cfl means compact fluorescent lamp and led means light emitting diode presently we are using leds which actually consumes very very low amount of the power so future of lighting is relied upon the leds now fan fridge tvs ac cooler washing machine all these devices basically run on electricity we may say almost all gadgets and electrical appliances use electrical power in our day to day life for different types of the works and now see this one you may say that there are smartphones and the ordinary phones in tarak mehta ka ulta chashma if we talk in the language of bindi master mr bide he will say माधवी हमारे जमाने में तो ऐसे सिंपल फोन हुआ करते थे और आजकल के बच्चे देखो टप्पू सोनू को देखो कैसे कैसे फोन यूज करते हैं सही कहा है ना यू आर यूजिंग जस्ट लाइक सोनू एंड टप्पू स्मार्टफोन्स यू आर वॉचिंग माई वीडियो लेक्चर ऑन द स्मार्टफोन्स बट एक्चुअली वी आर यूजिंग दो टाइप ऑफ दिल टाइप फोन एनी वे सो मोबाइल फोन ऑल्सो कैन नॉट रन विदाउट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी हैंस इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज अ पार्ट एंड पार्शियल ऑफ अवर लाइफ नाउ डेज सो वट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बेसिकली देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी ए सी एंड डी सी डी सी मतलब कि बहुत ही अच्छा सीधा साधा इंसान वो बस ऐसे ही सीधा ही चलता जाएगा सीधा ही चलता जाएगा कभी ऐसे ऐसे होगा ही नहीं लेकिन ए सी ए सी इज वेरी नोटोरियस वो कभी ऊपर जाएगा कभी नीचे आएगा कभी ऊपर जाएगा कभी नीचे आएगा ऊपर नीचे ऊपर नीचे होता ही रहेगा घूमता ही रहेगा वो सीधे साधा ऐसा बैठेगा नहीं लेकिन डीसी बिल्कुल ऐसे ही सीधा साधा बैठा रहेगा चलता रहेगा सीधी दिशा में सो डीसी इज अ डायरेक्ट करंट एंड ए सी इज अल्टरनेटिंग करंट रिपीट ए सी इज अल्टरनेटिंग करंट एंड डीसी इज द डायरेक्ट करंट नाउ डीसी कम्स फ्रॉम वॉर डीसी कम्स फ्रॉम द बैटरीज cell battery etc the first you are seeing is that of the cell they are a size triple size actually there are different types of the size and they come in varieties of voltages for example standard voltage like 1.5 volt 3 volt 6 volt 5 volt 9 volt 12 volt etc and second the larger one the sky color battery that is generally used in the vehicles etc for the inverters etc now ac comes from the thermal power stations nuclear power stations wind power generators etc from where 
actually we get electricity in the present figure you are seeing that there are two very big chimney like structures actually they are not chimneys they are cooling tower you should remember that they are not chimneys then you will wonder rutva will wonder what the white color fumes are coming out from that actually they are the streams because water is a lot required in thermal power stations for generating electricity and hence it needs to be cooled so mostly thermal power stations nuclear power stations are established along the bank of a river right so that they can get maximum amount of water actually that water cools and after cooling it becomes steam so they are not fumes not smoke actually they are white colored steam water steam and the big roller like structure red and white actually that is chimney and that the thing which is coming out from the chimney that is smoke that is actually pollutant so actually electricity comes out from this type of the structure called thermal power station or nuclear power station etc right and from there they are transmitted on such type of the electrical towers and then thereafter it will transmit it on this type of electrical poles to reach at our home and through this type of the meter our whole bungalow will be just shining and dazzling like anything right isn't it but for that you will have to pay a very very hefty sum of consumption um, a rent a consumption unit you will have to pay for your consumption of electrical power and presently all over india almost we may say rupees 6 per unit is charged for consumption of electricity right now what is electric current electric current is basically a flow of electrons and do you know who found who discovered electrons see there is a definition between invention and discovery discovery means something something which is already present and one discovers whereas invention is it was not there but person make it and he presented to us that is invention so who discovered neutrons protons and electrons actually first of all jj thompson discovered electrons rutherford discovered james chadwick he discovered a neutron right so these electrons which orbits the nucleus actually they are just orbiting the nucleus and the outermost electrons means valence electrons take part in the electricity actually valence electrons are free electrons and they, are, they used to roam in and around the metals right and conductors and they take part in the flow of electricity flow of uh, current right so what is electric current electric current is nothing but flow of electrons and which electrons take part in the flow of electrons so in the flow of electricity they are the valence electrons or electrons which are in the outermost orbit they take part in the flow of electricity so now let us give more precise definition to be written in the examination that is a rate of flow of electrons in any conductor is known as electric current what is electric current a rate of flow of electrons in any conductor and the si unit of current is ampere now what the word si means si means standard international actually that's a french word and uh, in paris a convention regular used to meet regarding the standards for various uh, physical uh, physical item physical um, uh, physical items for example uh, kilogram, meter, seconds, etc. Okay, so standard international. Internationally, they are accepted standards. So the internationally accepted standard of measurement of electric current is that of the ampere. So what is the definition of electric current? A rate of flow of electrons in any conductor is known as electric current. Now the new word conductor. Basically, three types of the device uh, uh, items are there: conductor, semiconductor, and insulators. Conductors, semiconductor, and insulators. We will discuss about it later on. If a net charge Q, if a net charge Q flows across any cross section of a conductor in time t, then the current I through the cross section may be expressed I is equal to Q by T. Right? So what is I means if we express the definition of current mathematically then we may say 
दैट फ्लो ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स पर यूनिट टाइम रिप्रेजेंट्स करंट फ्लो ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स और नंबर ऑफ चार्ज इफ यू क्वांटिफाइड नंबर ऑफ चार्ज पर टाइम गिव्स करंट एंड नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज व्हाट इज द चार्ज ऑफ वन इलेक्ट्रॉन सो इट्स माइनस वन पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू टेन एस टू माइनस नाइनटीन कुलम मीन्स वेरी स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ चार्ज डज अ इलेक्ट्रॉन पर्सेज माइनस वन पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू टेन एस टू माइनस नाइनटीन कुलम एंड द ऑपोजिट ऑफ इट दैट इज प्लस वन पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू टेन एस टू माइनस नाइनटीन कुलम इज द चार्ज ऑफ वन प्रोटोन नाउ कंडक्टर्स एंड इंसुलेटर्स कंडक्टर्स जनरली मोर मेडअप ऑफ एल्यूमिनियम और कॉपर Conductor like copper is generally used in our household wiring and aluminium is generally used in the transmission lines because it is somewhat costly. And insulators, they are like rubbers, plastics that does not allow the flow of the current. Rasi jal jayegi par bal nahi jayega. Main jal jaunga par mujh mein current pasar nahi hone dunga. I will not allow the electrons to flow from my side. एंड कंडक्टर बोलेगा अरे भैया मुझ में कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं आओ जितना ही इलेक्ट्रॉन पसार करना है जितना ही इलेक्ट्रॉन बहाना है बाहर मुझे कोई आपत्ति नहीं है बस घुमाते जाओ बहाते जाओ पर इंसुलेटर कहेगा तुम मुझे कितना भी पीट लो कितना भी मार लो कितना भी गर्म कर लो हम इलेक्ट्रॉन पसार नहीं होने देंगे मीन्स नहीं होने देंगे रस्सी जल जाएगी पर बल जाएगा नहीं इंसुलेटर को आप कितना भी गर्म करो वो जल जाएगा पिघल जाएगा बट इट विल नॉट allow the flow of the current but in case of semiconductors they are basically insulator at the room temperature but when you just heat it electrons starts flowing actually in more technical words we may say there are free electrons at room temperature in conductors very few free electrons at room temperature in semiconductor if we increase the temperature then there will be breakage breakage or breakdown of the coil and bonds and electrons will be liberated for flowing and the semiconductor starts behaving like conductors after certain temperature so they are known as semiconductor or partial conductor whereas insulators they are having tightly bounded electrons and electrons are not liberated from the gel of nucleus so there will not be flow of any electron so there are basically three types conductor semiconductor and insulator these are the three types of materials from the electrical perspective now let us calculate very simple sum calculate charge if current of 6 ampere flows in a bulb for 1 minute now we know that i is equal to q by t that is the definition of current says charge per unit time so q is equal to i into t right now i is given 6 ampere that is a standard unit time is given 1 minute we'll have to convert it into seconds that is 60 seconds so 6 is the 36 so we are getting 360 coulomb so this type of examples generally ask in the examination and try to solve such type of examples by your own stay tuned for more such videos thank you